Welcome back to Max Reaction. Hopefully you're having a good day. I'm having a pretty good day myself. If you're new to the channel, let me know where you're from. But for now, we're going to react to why we celebrate June 12th as Philippine Independence Day. So let's learn together. Let's, uh, if the video misses something that I should know, uh, definitely comment down below and let me know what that might be. But for now, let's react together and have a conversation down below. June 12, 1898. Today we celebrate the Philippine Independence Day. Wonderful day. Who or what did we really get free from? Spain? United States? Were we really free from that point on? From 1890, 87? There have no. been a few revolts during the Spanish occupation in the Philippine archipelago. The known Philippine Revolution. Right. Let's go back to when it started. <laughs> An educated Filipino middle class emerged. The Ilustrados. Ilustrados. And they decided for Philippine independence. They lobbied in the court of Spain for this but mainly to give Philippines its own autonomy as a province. Absolutely. Prior to 1872, there were oppositions only coming from the Filipino clergy who disliked the monopoly of power of Spain within the Roman Catholic Church. Later that year, there was the Cavite Mutiny, Cavite an mutiny. uprising which Spain used to further their abuse. Next scene, the execution of the Gumburza. Ah. The martyrdom of the Filipino priest Jose Burgos, Mariano Gomez, and Jacinto Zamora. For accusations of conspiracy. I don't really know too much about them, but we're going to learn a lot more about them. Uh, I know their execution like propelled, you know, conspiracy the country the, the right way. Many would agree that this sparked the infamous revolt. Right. Yes. While the Ilustrados sought refuge in Europe, they gathered in a campaign known as the Propaganda Movement. It is here we see Dr. Jose Rizal taking the lead. He published a novel in 1886 to mirror the Manila Spanish society. No Limitangere. Which they did not like at all. Understatement of the By year. 1892. Spain did not seem to show any efforts on reforming its colonial government. So, comes in a self-educated warehouse clerk, Andres Bonifacio. Bonifacio. In August of 1896, he casually gathers 100,000 members for a secret Ooh. revolutionary society called Gatipuna, which Gatipuna. means association. The Spaniards only found out about the Gatipunan on the 19th of August. Bonifacio and the many Cateponeros scrambled to escape Manila from the systematic search conducted by the Spaniards. They fled to a barrio in Caloocan. A lot of men Calintawa. to flee. And on the 24th of August, he goes... Sa atin! Ang bayang ito! Puritin! Ang mga sedula niyo! Woo! Mabuhay ang Cateponan! <laughs> Long live the revolution! Why aren't we celebrating 24th of August then? Wasn't that the Declaration of Independence? Okay, okay, let's try to look at another perspective. Here's the more prominent one. Long story short, Aguinaldo declares independence right. and later agrees on a compromise with Spain, but eventually breaks the deal and Spain gets into war with the US right. and so now Aguinaldo has a new enemy. Fast forward, Aguinaldo gives up eventually from the Philippine Insurrection, also known as the Philippine-American War. Oh, yeah. So from 1901, we then became a colony of the United States, then a commonwealth by 1935. We'll talk some more about this in another video. So, most likely, being pretty much part of the US, we celebrated 4th of July. So for the longest time, nor or very few Filipinos knew about 12th of June. With the Treaty of Manila, the U.S. granted the Philippines its independence right after the Second World War in 1946. Should have long time that. It had to be on the same famous American Day of Independence, 4th of July. 
Filipinos then celebrated their own version of 4th of July Independence Day from 1946 all the way until 1962. Up until the then president, Josdado Macapagal, issued Presidential Proclamation No. 28, declaring 12th of June as a special public holiday throughout the archipelago, stating, In commemoration of our people's declaration of their inherent and inalienable right to freedom and independence. But because bad habits die hard, most likely, Filipinos still prepared for some partying for 4th of July. So, on the 4th of August, 1964, the same president renamed 4th of July as Philippine Republic Day and 12th of June as the Philippine Independence Day. I like it. That's so the way yeah, it should be. That's how we got here. We've only been really celebrating June 12 for 57 years. Who or what did we really get free from? Basing on the date that we celebrated on, then Spain. But were we really free from that point on? Mm, it's up to you to decide. Um, I would say not. No, not totally free from that day on because there was wars, there was occupation. Um, so no, I would say after after that would be the correct date, but. Um, to celebrate on June 12th, I don't see a problem in it. Plus, <coughs> you know, it's, I don't think it matters what day you celebrate on as long as you have your independence. So whether it be the 12th, the 4th, the, whatever day you, you choose, you know, it is what it is. But, uh, whatever, you know, whatever you guys think, I support, it doesn't matter, I'm just so happy that the Philippines did finally get their independence. It was really cool to see the history of, uh, the Philippines in this one. It, it, it spoke about a lot of, a lot of history. Uh, we re reacted to a short history video the other day, and it didn't even mention the Bonificio. Did I say that right? Man. So, we need to learn more about him, and I need to learn a whole lot more about the priest, because I don't know a whole lot. I basically knew what this video if I already stated, so I didn't really learn too much. So if you'd like for me to react and uh, create some videos on some of these these heroes of the Philippines from the past, we'll definitely do that. Um, do you agree with the guy said? Do you agree with the June twelfth and you were independent from then on, or was it after that? You know, past all the wars and stuff. I don't know. Let me know what you're thinking down below. I'd love to know your thoughts. Let me know what I should be reacting to next. But for now, I'll see you next time. Spread that peace. Spread that love. Spread that happiness. See ya.